Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marianne Ramish and I am a freelancer in Los Angeles, California. I nanny, I do ghostwriting, I produce my own content, I am an actor, etc, etc. I do a lot. Today I am super excited to do a collab with Julia Marie. She and I have done collabs in the past. We both started YouTube around the same time and we both sort of left for a while, came back, all of that. She and I are buddies. Sorry, there's a cat butt. Please be sure to check out all the other collaborators. There will be a playlist and a link to their channels in the description box below. So the collab for today is called the Lies I Tell Myself collab, which is all about those little lies you tell yourself all the time to justify going over budget or spending money that you maybe shouldn't. This collab was actually brilliant because it made me have to take a step back and look at my behavior, which I've been trying to ease into changing without being too harsh with myself. And it just, it required some self-reflection and figuring out where I'm going wrong with certain things. I could list off a bunch of smaller ways that I lie to myself every day, but when I was thinking about my answer to this, there were two bigger things that I came up with. Without further ado, here are the lies I tell myself. The first lie I tell myself is I will start budgeting better next week. I say that when I've gone off budget and I use it as a way to sort of enable myself to, if I'm already overspending in a week, just keep overspending. I like the idea of a fresh start, a clean slate, and so I decide next week is when I'll deal with it. But I do that with everything. I do that with yoga, doing yoga. I do that with my diet. I do that with my budget. And it's a vicious cycle because I keep pushing next week off to the next week and Monday comes around and I'm making the same choices. I already messed up for the week and it's only Monday so I guess next week is when I'll fix it. It's terrible. The second lie I tell myself is actually a more significant revelation. This lie is that I'm failing at my budget because my boyfriend doesn't like to be on a budget. While it is true that he was not on Dave Ramsey baby steps or anything like that when we started dating, he's still not, he did start cutting down his credit card bills. He doesn't use his credit card anymore and he is better at reining himself in when eating out, but I'm always saying, oh, well, I make more money so I can treat us to a dinner out and we don't have to worry about it. I'll just cover it. And I'm the one who offers that. I'm the one who volunteers that. I'm the one who's created a norm there where he would just say, no, let's not go out. I've sort of lied to myself and said, no, eating out is important to us. And because he's on a tight budget, I'm going to cover it. And so that's, that's all me. That's not him breaking my budget. He would just say, no, let's not go out. So that is a big lie that I'm telling myself that because I make more money, I should be paying for more things so that we can go out and do certain things. It is weird to actually have realized that. And it's always sort of been there in the back of my mind when I've started to get frustrated about these sorts of things and feeling like, like he might ask me to pick something up from the grocery store and I pick it up and I just cover it and don't ask for the money back or anything. And that's me shooting myself in the foot and that's on me. It's not something he's doing to me. He He's asking me to pick something up for him. He's not asking me to pay for it. And so now I need to take more ownership of my own choices and stop agreeing to pay for things, stop volunteering to pay for things, and acting like it's some sort of duty of mine to 
make it so we can go out to eat. It's not a duty. It's not a requirement. I don't need to make other people's lives better. I'm a big people pleaser and I run into this problem a lot where I'll just stress myself out so much just to make other people like me or approve or whatever. And like, it's always me doing things to myself. Almost always. I don't have to spend that money that way. So it's going to be a big change trying to rein that behavior in, and I think this video could be a significant turning point, or at least I hope so. I think that will be an important revelation going forward in my life, and I am very thankful to this collab for helping me really look at that problem and acknowledge that it's a thing. I think I have to end the video because this guy clearly needs attention, but be sure to check out everybody else's videos, again, description box, playlist, all of that, and please like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will talk to you again soon.